Hey everyone, welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are going on a super cool adventure around the world, but we are not using a plane. We are exploring something called sports geography. That's right, sports aren't just fun to play and watch, they are also connected to the places we live. From the mountains we climb to the beaches we swim in, the way our world looks, also called geography, and plays a big role in the sports we love. So, grab your backpacks, put on your explorer hats, and let's get this adventure started. Did you know that not all sports are played everywhere? Imagine trying to ski in the middle of a desert, not very fun, right? Let's kick things off with soccer, also known as football in many places. It's like a big hug from the whole world because almost everyone plays it. From the sunny beaches of Brazil to the rainy fields of England, soccer brings people together from all over. Now, let's head over to the United States, where baseball steals the show. It's a bit like their favorite cozy blanket comforting and exciting. Every summer, families gather in stadiums, munching on hot dogs and cheering for their home team. But wait, let's fly over to India. Here, cricket is the superstar. It's not just a game, it's a dance of bat and ball, filling the air with cheers and laughter. Families picnic together, cheering for their heroes under the warm sun. Now we are catching waves in Australia. Surfing is like a dance with the ocean, and osses love it. From Bondi Beach to the Great Barrier Reef, surfers ride the waves, feeling the salty breeze on their faces. Let's lace up our sneakers and jog over to Kenya. Here, running is more than just a sport, it's a way of life. The high mountains and endless plains train champions, with every step telling a story of strength and determination. Now, let's hop over to Japan, where sumo wrestling is as big as a mountain. It's like watching giants dance, with every move full of power and tradition. The ring is their stage, and the crowd roars like thunder. But guess what? Every four years, something magical happens. It's called the Olympic Games. Athletes from all over the world gather to show their skills and make new friends. It's like a big party celebrating sports and friendship. From the World Cup to the Super Bowl, major sporting events are like giant magnets, pulling people together from all over. They are like fireworks, lighting up the sky with joy and excitement. And you know what's super awesome? Sports are not just about winning or losing. They are about friendship, teamwork, and having a blast. Whether you're dribbling a ball with friends or watching your heroes on TV, sports make the world brighter and happier. Let's learn more about sports. Places that are cold and have lots of snow are perfect for winter sports like skiing and snowboarding. Imagine racing down a hill covered in white powder, that would be awesome. But what if you prefer sunshine and warm weather? Well, then maybe surfing or beach volleyball would be more your style. These sports are perfect for places with warm weather and big waves. Look at this amazing map. See how countries with mountains tend to have winter sports, while those with coastlines have water sports. Cool, right? Even within a single country, geography can make a big difference. In areas with lots of hills, you might find more people who love cycling. And in flat plains, you might find more people who love running marathons. Imagine running a really long race across a big, open field, that sounds like a challenge. The coolest part about sports geography is that it affects some of the biggest sporting events in the world too. The Olympics, for example, is a giant sporting event held in a different country every single time. This means athletes get to compete in all sorts of environments. Imagine running a marathon in a hot summer sun or skiing down a mountain course in the winter. Countries who hosted Olympics are big and have lots of different landscapes, like mountains, beaches, and plains. 
This makes them perfect for showcasing a wide range of sports, from swimming to ice skating. Geography doesn't just affect where sports are played, it also shapes the kind of sports people love in different places. That's all for today, thanks for joining us on this awesome journey through the geography of sports. If you had a blast, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, share with your buddies, and hit that subscribe button for more amazing adventures. See you next time, explorers.